morning, everybody. So I'm Mitch Kostman. I'm the uh, yoga program manager at Planet Grant in Fountain Valley. And I'm back in Southern California, just came back from Mammoth. So back to sunny Southern California, except for today it's a little bit rainy. So we're gonna do a vinyasa flow class today, 45 to 60 minutes or so. Um, and we're gonna do a few sun salutations and a lot of stuff to kind of call back the sun to keep us all getting our good vitamin D and waking up in the morning. Um, we can't add any music to these flows because of copyright issues and all sorts of things. Plus it gives you the opportunity to kind of pick your own, own music. So go ahead and choose a nice um, wake up playlist or something that's gonna get you going, something that's gonna be nice and sunny for you. And we're going to start today at the top of our mat. I see we got a couple people coming in. Um, I can't quite see you. If you leave a comment, I'll try my best to try to interact with you and read the comments from way over here. Um, but yeah, like I said, starting today at the top of the mat, we're just going to start with a couple of sun salutations. But before we get going, we want to really check in with our Tadasana, our mountain pose. So go ahead and take your awareness to the base of your feet. Find the big toe mound, the little toe mound in the center of your heel, nice triangular base of support. And imagine you're growing roots down from this triangle all the way to the center of the earth. From there, draw energy up from the center of the earth, fills up your feet, fills up your ankles, fills up your calves and your shins, all the way into the knees. Your kneecaps are gonna lift as you activate your quadriceps. Keep the energy coming up, filling up the upper leg. Hands come to your hips. Imagine you're holding a bowl of water. We're going to tuck the tailbone down towards the heels to pour water out the back of the bowl. And then we're going to send the booty out to pour water out the front of the bowl. Just go back and forth really quick. Find a nice kind of movement in your pelvic bowl here. And then find a neutral tuck where your tailbone is reaching a little bit towards the heels, but not like completely tucked under. All right, from there, release your arms. Take the energy up the spine, drying up each vertebrae all the way into the shoulders. Feel it spread across the chest, spread across the upper back and then melt down the shoulders and the hands all the way to the center of the earth. Keep the energy coming up the neck, all the way into the head. Feel your chin slightly tucked and the crown reaching up to the sky like a balloon is lifting it up from the very center of the crown. Exhale here, and then we're gonna start to flow. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. You might take a glance up. Exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift, crown reaches to the front of the room, tailbone to the back of the room. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to your high plank. Take a moment here, inhale, elongate the crown, tuck the tailbone like we just did in our Tadasana. So you want to tuck that tailbone and then draw your navel towards your spine to activate the low abs. Remember that as we go through today's flow. Drop the knees, untuck the toes, come forward and down till your chin and chest touch the ground. Zip the legs up like you have one leg behind you, draw your elbows back towards each other, spread across the collarbone, Inhale, lift the crown, finding baby cobra. You can float your hands. Exhale, forehead comes back to the mat. Inhale, press up through a tabletop, tuck the toes. Exhale, send the hips back and up. Keep a deep bend in the knees, maybe pedaling out your dog, kind of coming into a down dog adjusted here. Inhale here, and exhale. Take a deep bend in the knees, lift between the hands, walk step or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, the arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center and release them to the side. Making some adjustments to my sweatshirt here. I'm not used to practicing in a sweater, but it's a little chilly this morning. I might warm up and get it taken off a little bit later in the practice. We're gonna flow through that again. Sun A, here we go. Exhale everything to the center of the earth. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank. You can drop the knees or come all the way down, halfway to chaturanga, flip the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Look between the hands, bend in the knees, walk step or float, front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center and release. Inhale, them right back up, really warming up, waking up the sun, waking up our bodies. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend in the knees, look between the hands, walk step or float to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center and release. Take a moment and check in. Inhale and exhale. Finding your Tadasana. So a little bit warm here, a little bit sunnier. Look at that. The sun is actually breaking through the clouds. Look at that. I'm doing a sun dance today. So from here, check back in with your hips. Are your hips still tucked? Your tailbone still reaching towards your heels. You really want that hip tuck, tailbone to the heels. Draw the navel towards the spine so you're activating the low abs. Inhale and exhale here. We're going to come through a sun B. So as you're ready, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, scoop the ground, reach up to the sky, and you're coming into a chair. Your knees are tied together with a string. Your big toes are touching. Your heels can be slightly apart. You're tucking the tailbone still, so you don't want your booty sticking out here. Tuck the tailbone, draw your knees behind the toes. Exhale, you're going to forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right heel to the sky, variation, exhale, step it through. Hips are, feet are hips distance apart, inhale up for warrior one. Exhale right back down, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale the left heel to the sky, exhale step it through. Feet are hips distance apart, ground the back foot, inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, right back down, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, lock step for float, front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up into your chair. Exhale to stand and release the hands. All right, going through that a couple more times. Inhale here and exhale. Here we go. Inhale, scoop the ground. Come into your chair. Tuck that booty. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. High plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right heel up and step it through. Exhale. Ground the left foot. Inhale, up. Warrior one. Exhale, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the left foot up. Step it through. Ground the right foot. Inhale up. Exhale down. High plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Bend the knees. Look between the hands. Top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop the ground. Come up into chair. Tuck your booty. Exhale, hands to heart center and stand. Take it right back down. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right heel. Exhale, step it through. Ground the left foot. Inhale, up. Exhale, back down. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side, inhale it up. Step it through. Ground the foot, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, right back down, high plank, chaturanga. You can drop your knees or any variation you want here. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look between the hands, walk, step or float, front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop the ground, come up into your chair, tuck the booty, draw the navel towards the spine. Exhale, hands through heart center. Last one, inhale, ground all the way to your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right heel. Step it through. Ground the left foot. Inhale, up, warrior one. Exhale down. High plank to chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale the left foot. Step it through. Ground the right foot. Inhale up. Exhale down. High plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Bend the knees. Look between the hands. Walk step or float. Front of the mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into chair, big toes are touching. Draw your navel towards your spine, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, hands through heart center. Release them to the side. Check in with your breathing, check in with your Tadasana. Inhale and exhale. Grounding through that triangular base of support, big toe mound, little toe mound, center of the heel, reach that all the way to the earth. Draw the energy up. Feel your kneecaps lift as you activate your quadriceps. Tuck your tailbone, send your tailbone towards your heels. Energy fills up the spine, comes across the chest, comes across the upper back, melts down the arms, feeling your shoulders really melting towards the ground. Hands towards the center of the earth. Energy fills up the face, fills up the crown, chin is slightly tucked, crown lifting up away from the body. And notice any changes. Feeling a little bit more warm, a little bit of energy flowing through the body here. Nice fast warm up today, salutations to the sun, really calling the sun back out. I see even more blue sky coming out. We might get a sun ray or two coming through here soon. How exciting. All right. Once you're checked in, once you feel the difference, notice the energy moving inside you. Know your pranic energy, your pranamaya kosha, whirling around as your physical body is nice and still. And we're going to flow again as you're ready. Exhale everything to the center of the earth, crown still reaching up to the sky. Inhale, reach the hands up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, crown to the front of the room, tailbone to the back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to your high plank, tuck that tailbone, draw your navel in, keep the exhale going, chaturanga, flip the toes, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal out your down dog for a moment and use that prana energy to move through any tightness that you have in your legs or your lower back and maybe find stillness. Notice if anything's still moving. When you're ready, inhale the right heel to the sky. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale, elongate the crown. Tuck the tailbone, send it towards that left heel here. As you exhale, ground the left heel so that the toes are pointed up on an angle towards the top corner of the mat. Your heels are heel to heel or heel to arch in the back foot. And we're inhaling up for warrior two. We're going to set the form here. Exhale, release the arms. Knees over the ankle. If you look down, you can see your big toe. If you can't, elongate the inner thigh, draw back on the outer thigh. That's going to open up your knee and you're going to be able to see your toe. From there, hips are open to the side of the mat. The left leg is grounded all the way through the outside edge of the left foot, lifting through the inside edge. Take your shoulders and open them the same way that your hips are, to the side of the mat, and then bring them back slightly so the shoulders are directly over the hips. Exhale here. Inhale the arms up to neutral. Keep your shoulders melting down the back. If there's space in your neck, exhale, take it to the front. Look your gaze right over the middle finger. Inhale and exhale, setting our form in our warrior two. From there, draw the front leg back to straight. Reach forward with the arms without bringing the hips forward. The hips are still back. And then exhale takes you into a triangle pose. So bring your fingertips towards the inside of your heel. Inhale, reach the left arm to the sky, spread across the chest. Try to find even weightedness between your feet. Inhale and exhale here. With each inhale, feel yourself reaching from the chest all the way out to the fingertips, spreading across the chest. With each exhale, you can take that left hand further back. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, find even weightedness between the feet. Draw the thighs together. Inhale, reach the right arm, the bottom hand, all the way up to the sky. Back hand tracks down the back leg to reverse your triangle. Inhale, and exhale, and then keep the arms where they are. Bend the right knee so it's over the right ankle, coming into a reverse warrior here. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, each inhale, feel your hand reaching towards the sky. 
Each exhale, high five the back of the room. Take yourself a little bit deeper. Keep that hip crease bent in the right leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale once more. Exhale through warrior two. Windmill the hands, high plank. Send the right leg back. Tuck the tailbone, draw the navel in. Keep that exhale going, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pedal out your down dog for a moment. And then we're gonna drop the knees, untuck the toes, and press the hips back to meet the heels. Child's pose, forehead to the mat. So in child's pose, it's gonna give you a nice opportunity to connect back in with your breath. Notice any movement that's going on, anything happening in your pranamaya kosha. And notice any differences from the right to the left side. We're gonna flow through that flow a couple times on each side. So child's pose is a nice resting posture if you feel like you're getting too much in this morning practice, this fast morning practice. Come rest in child's pose. But as you're ready, we're gonna take it to the other side. Inhale, come up through table, tuck the toes, exhale, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale, elongate the crown, tuck the tailbone, sending it towards the right heel. Exhale, ground that right heel, heel to heel or heel to arch. Inhale, come up for warrior two. Exhale, release the hands, set the form. Knee is over the ankle, you can see the big toe. Open that knee up, elongate the inner thigh, draw back on the outer thigh. It's gonna really allow you to see that big toe. If you can't see the big toe, your knee's probably buckled in, so really open that up. Hips are opening towards the side of the mat. Ground through the outside edge of the right foot and lift through the inside edge. Take your shoulders, turn them to square with your hips, and then bring them back so your shoulders are directly over your hips. Exhale here. Inhale the arms up to parallel. Shoulders are melting down the back. You're not doing much with your shoulders here. Exhale, turn the gaze towards the front fingers. Inhale and exhale here. Imagine that there's somebody on either hand pulling you apart, really spreading across that chest. Inhale. Exhale. Notice any difference from the right to the left side? Is one side easier or more difficult? Isn't that interesting? Not judging, just noticing. When you're ready, get even weight in this between your feet, and then on an inhale, draw your front leg back to straight. Reach forward, keeping your hips back, and then exhale, come down. The fingertips come to the inside of the left Heel. You might want a block to help you here. You might be up on the shin, whatever is fine. Just don't be pressing into the leg to collapse. Inhale, spread across the chest, spread all the way out through the fingertips. Feel those people pulling your arms apart. Exhale, take your top hand even further. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling, get even weighted between the feet. Draw your thighs together. Feel that coming up into your groin. Inhale, reach the left arm to the sky. Right arm tracks back the right leg. So we're reversing our triangle. Inhale to reach us up even higher. Exhales, take us further back, high-fiving the back of the room. Inhale and exhale. Nice and active through the legs still. Inhale. On your next exhale, bend the left knee, coming into reverse warrior. The knee is over the left ankle. Can you see that big toe? You might even take a peek. Yeah, I can still see it or not. Open up that knee. Inhales, reach your hand up. Exhales, high five the back of the room. One more time, inhale and exhale. Inhale up, exhale through warrior two, windmill the hands, high plank. Send the left leg back, tuck the tailbone, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Drop the knees, untuck the toes, press the hips back to meet the heels, child's pose. All right, breathing in child's pose. Inhale and exhale here. Notice any difference from the right side to the left side? Might be feeling warm like I am. Warm enough to take the sweater off in this cold environment here. Notice any difference from this child's pose to the previous one? Notice any similarities? When you're ready, take a full exhale. As you inhale, come up through tabletop. Tuck the toes, exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. 
Take a deep bend in between the knees, look between the hands, walk step your foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center, release them to the side. Checking in with Tadasana. Notice any difference from the first Tadasana to now. Are your feet still engaged? Triangular base of support. Is your tailbone still tucked? Navel still towards the spine. Shoulders melting down the back. Crown to the sky and chin slightly tucked. Inhale here. Exhale. Everything but the crown reaches to the center of the earth. Inhale. Reach those arms up overhead. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale, high plank to chaturanga. You might drop your knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right heel to the sky and step it through. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, up, warrior two. Exhale. Set your form. Make sure your knees over the ankle. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Draw the thighs towards one another, reach forward and down on an exhale, inhale, elongate, reach to the sky, reach to the center of the earth, the gaze can come up, exhale, deep in the twist, keep the legs where they are, even weighted, inhale, reach the right arm to the sky, reverse your triangle, exhale here, inhale up, exhale, take a bend in the right knee, coming into a reverse warrior, inhale, reach to the sky, exhale, high five to the back of the room. Inhale up, exhale through warrior two, windmill the hands, high plank chaturanga, or just meet in down dog. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale the left heel up, and step it through. On an exhale, inhale elongate the crown, tailbone to the heel, exhale ground the right heel. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, set your form, knees over the ankle, shoulders are over the hips. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, draw the front leg to straight, reach forward and down on an exhale, inhale, elongate from the chest all the way to the fingertips, exhale to deepen, even weighted through the feet, inhale, reverse, left hand to the sky, legs stay where they are, exhale here, inhale up, exhale, bend the left knee, reverse warrior, inhale, Exhale, move through your warrior two, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel up, one more time. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, ground. Inhale, up, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, deepen. Inhale, reverse, right arm to the sky. Exhale here. Inhale up. Exhale, bend the front knee, reverse warrior. Inhale up. Exhale, high plank to chaturanga, windmill the hands to get there. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale the left heel up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale elongate. Exhale ground. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, draw the front leg back. Exhale, reach forward and down, triangle. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, deep in the twist. Inhale, reach the left hand to the sky, right arm back behind the right leg. Exhale, here. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, up. Exhale, windmill the hands, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up, dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, up, warrior two. Exhale, here. We're going to switch it up. Inhale, reach forward and down to the outside edge of the right foot. Left arm to the sky. Take the left hand to the hip. Inhale, you're going to shift forward and come into half moon. The left hip is stacked over the right hip, right fingertips on the ground. You might want a block here, so if you have a block or a pillow or something like that, ground with the block. Inhale, spread across the chest. 
really stacking the left hip on the right, grounding the right leg, kind of like you're in triangle. So you really want to engage that leg, but don't lock out the knee. Inhale. And on an exhale, return to our warrior two. Ground the left foot, find your warrior two. Inhale, draw your front leg to straight. Exhale, take triangle for just a moment. And then inhale right back up, warrior two. Windmill the front hand, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Elongate the crown on an inhale. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, drop the left hand to the outside edge of the left foot. Inhale, spread across the chest, reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to the hip. Inhale, come forward and up to your half moon. Hip is over, right hip is over the left. Active through the left leg, maybe taking your block. Inhale, you might open up your right arm. You might turn your gaze, challenging your balance. Exhale. Inhale, spread across the chest. Exhale here. One more inhale to spread. Exhale, return the right foot. Find your warrior two. Inhale up to triangle. So reach forward and down. On your exhale. And then inhale back up. Take warrior two and then windmill the hands. High plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. We're going to keep challenging our balance here. Maybe pedal out your legs. Find your breath. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, take stillness in your down dog. Inhale your right heel to the sky. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, come up. Warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Right hand to the right ankle, drop the left arm, spring forward, warrior two. Inhale, elongate across the chest. Exhale, square your left hip to the ground. So we're coming into a warrior three variation. Your shoulders come to square with the ground. Nice airplane variation. Inhale, exhale. On an inhale, drop your foot to the back of the mat. You can take crescent on the ball of your foot or warrior one if you want to ground that heel. Inhale on up. Exhale takes you right down. High plank, chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale step it through. Inhale elongate. Exhale ground the heel. Inhale up for your two. Exhale the left hand to the ground. Inhale elongate. Exhale hand to the hip. Spring forward. Half moon. Inhale open up the chest. Exhale, square the hips and the shoulders to the ground, coming into your warrior three variation, maybe with airplane arms. Inhale here, and exhale. The inhale, return the right foot to the back. Maybe you're on the ball of the foot for crescent, maybe you ground for warrior one. Exhale, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last balancing. Inhale the right heel to the sky. Step it through. Inhale, elongate, exhale, ground. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, into your half moon. Inhale, spread across the chest. Exhale, ground, squaring the hips and the shoulders to the ground. Inhale, draw the knee in, tuck the tailbone. We're coming up into tree, so you can reach your hands to the sky. You might take your hands to draw your foot to the inside of the thigh. It might be on the calf, it might be towards the ankle. Doesn't matter where you are here. You're just challenging your balance. Inhale, reach those arms up. We're coming back to the sun one more time. Really draw in the sun, call it in. Feel any rays that you can gather from this nice, somewhat sunny day. Exhale here. Inhale. If you're up with your tree, release that leg. Exhale, feet meet each other. Hands through heart center and release to the side. Find Tadasana. Notice any difference, what's happening in this Tadasana? Grounding through the feet, feet reaching to the center of the earth, kneecaps are lifted, tailbone is tucked, shoulders are melting down, crown reaching to the sky, chin is slightly tucked. Exhale, inhale the arms up overhead. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank to chaturanga. Maybe just meeting them down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, up, warrior two. Exhale, take it into half moon. So reach down and then reach forward, springing up. Inhale, spread across the chest, spread across the fingers. Exhale, square the shoulders, square the hips. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come up into your tree. So tuck the tailbone, bring that leg up to the front. Maybe you press it into the inner thigh. Maybe it's on the calf. Maybe it's all the way down towards the ankle. Wherever you are, just press your foot into your leg. Press your leg back into your foot. Grow your branches up. Maybe your branches are just at heart center, and that's okay today. No matter where you are, it's your practice. It really doesn't matter if you're following along at all. Just have fun. If you want, though, maybe grow your branches. Maybe it's in the wind today. Maybe you got, like, wind going on. Maybe it's a tornado, and it's kind of going around in a circle. Maybe it switches circles. Whatever you want to do, bring that sun in. Gather the sun. Use all of the leaves to really get the sun. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, release the leg. Exhale, feet meet together, hands through heart center all the way to the side. Checking in with the last Tadasana. Inhale and exhale. Notice any changes from the very first mountain pose to now. Any differences from the beginning of practice. Notice any similarities. When you're ready, exhale fully. We're going to find a little bit of an animal flow. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward pull. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, high plank to chaturanga. Maybe you're meeting in down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment and breathe, pedal it out. And when you're ready, inhale the right heel to the sky. Draw the right knee behind the right wrist. The right ankle comes towards the left wrist. It doesn't have to come all the way up. If you want to keep it back there, that's fine. We're setting up for pigeon. Release the back foot, maybe stretching it back a little bit. And inhale, draw the thighs together like we did in our triangle. Exhale, send the tailbone towards the earth. Your shoulders are above your hips, nice and squared here. Active through the thighs, drawing the ankle and the toes towards the right knee to protect that right knee. Inhale and exhale. So we're coming into our twisted pigeon with a cow face, if you read that description. Inhale up. On your exhale, lead with your sternum. Come down to a sphinx. Elbows are directly below the shoulders. Inhale, elongate the crown. Maybe you take a block or a pillow, maybe anything that you have, maybe a few books, whatever it is that you're working with. Exhale, forehead to the mat or to the block. You want to release the tension in the back of the shoulders and the neck. Inhale and exhale into your belly here. With every inhale, feel your belly press against the thigh. Really inflate that lower belly. And every exhale, allow your torso to collapse into the space that you've created with that air. So you're going to stretch from the inside out here. Inhale and exhale. Feeling your physical body still, noticing your pranic body flowing. If you want to take your forehead all the way to the mat, go for that. If you want to reach your hands out, that's fine too. Whatever's in your practice. Inhale. And exhale, letting the pranamaya kosha move around on the inside of the physical body. Inhales and exhales, directing any of your inhales and any of your exhales into places that you feel tension. If you were here with me last week, using your imagination to imagine those places getting cleared out with all of the energy that's flowing through them. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, draw your thighs together. Inhale, find your sphinx. Elbows are directly below your shoulders. Exhale here. Elongate the crown. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale, walk your hands back up. Exhale. Inhale. Tailbone reaching to the center of the earth. Crown reaching up. Shoulders are over the hips. Exhale, sit back onto your right hip. So you're going to shift your weight so that you're not on your knee, you're on the outside edge, or you're on the inside edge of the weight. 
From there, take your awareness to the back leg and then active through the back leg. Try to do this without your hands. It might be a trick. Lift that back leg up and then bring that back leg all the way around to ground on the outside edge of the thigh. You might need to adjust your hips here. You might want to block. So what we want to find is that our sits bones are on the ground. If they're not on the ground, grab a block, grab a pillow, something like that, so that you can square both of your hips to the ground. Inside edge of the left foot is grounded here. Inhale, elongate the crown, tailbone to the center of the earth. Exhale. Inhale, reach the right arm up, shoulders melting down the back, so you don't want your shoulder coming up. Exhale, hook the right elbow with the, and the right knee. Inhale, grow the crown. Exhale, the gaze can come to the left shoulder, over the left shoulder. Your hand might press your chest open, your hand might come open to the sky, whatever you need in any variation, it might come down towards your heel. Inhale, and exhale to deepen. So we got our pigeon, we're taking our seated twist now. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. And then unhook the elbow and come back around to the right side, taking everything to the opposite side for a counter twist, just for a moment. And then shift your weight forward. You're coming onto your knees. You might remove the block for just a moment, but keep it in distance or remove that pillow. Your left leg is in front of your right leg here, though in these live streams, I guess we're inverted. So maybe your right leg is in front of your left leg, whatever you're working with. And then you're going to draw your legs together in the back, bring your calves and your thighs and your heels all the way through your ankles, all the way together. And then open it up and then draw it together. Back and forth, just finding whatever muscles are opening and engaging as fast or as slow as you want. Really try to kick that mat. Don't hurt yourself, but kind of exploring here. And when you're ready, keep those legs open as far as you can, maybe taking your block with you. You're going to sit your sits bones in between the space you've created, coming into our cow face posture. So here's our twisted pigeon with a cow face. All right. So in cow face, you want to ground both hips. Inhale, elongate the crown, sending the tailbone to the center of the earth. You might need a couple blocks or a couple pillows for this if you have tight hips. If you have open hips, you might take a yogi toe lock. And you might lead with your sternum coming down for a forward fold. Inhale, elongate the crown, and then exhale, forward fold. You might keep that yogi toe lock. You might walk your hands out in front. Whatever you need to really find this stretch in your body. And don't worry if you're struggling with this one. It's a really, really deep hip stretch. It took me a lot of years to get anywhere near being able to use this one functionally in practice. Inhale, and exhale. Couple more deep inhales into the belly. Fill up that belly. Feel the legs pressed against the air. Exhale. Allow the upper back to collapse into that space you've created. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Lead with your sternum. Come up. Elongate the crown. Exhale. Shift your weight forward and remove the block. Inhale here, hands and knees. Exhale, send the right leg back. Adjust your front leg so that your left knee is in behind the left wrist and your right ankle is encouraged towards the right wrist but doesn't have to get all the way there. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit to kind of demonstrate that. Inhale, draw your thighs together. Send your tailbone to the center of the earth. Crown is reaching up. The right leg tracks with the right hip. So if it's out to the side, Bring it in a little bit so that you're in line with your hip. Your hips are nice and squared. Your shoulders are nice and squared. Still access through the pelvic floor, drawing the toes towards the knee to protect the knee. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. As you exhale, leading with your sternum, coming forward to your forearms. Inhale, elongate forearms, and your elbows are directly below your shoulders, finding your sphinx. Exhale, send your tailbone towards the heel. Draw your thighs together. Maybe bring your block. Inhale, one more. Exhale, bring your forehead to your block or all the way to your mat, whatever you need in your practice. Finding pigeon. Inhale, into the belly. Exhale, the back takes the space you've created with the air. Inhale. And exhale. 
Couple more breaths, finding your own breath cycle. Noticing the energetic body moving inside as your physical body is still and directing your imagination to all of the places that you feel tension or tightness. Any place you feel out of balance. And whenever you want, you can direct it to the places that you feel open. And notice how that feels different as you send energy through these open spaces. Finding a couple more breath cycles. Noticing the difference from the right to the left side. Is one of your pigeons more comfortable than the other? Isn't that interesting? Inhale and exhale. Draw your thighs together. Activate that pelvic floor. And inhale. Walk back up to your sphinx. Exhale here. Inhale, walk yourself all the way up. Send the tailbone towards the center of the earth. Draw the thighs together. Take the ankle towards the knee. Exhale, sit back on that left hip. Take your awareness down the right leg. Try to lift your hands and try to lift that back leg up. Isn't that interesting? And then bring it all the way around to ground on the outside of that thigh here, making any adjustments maybe taking a block with you so that you can find your sits bones grounded evenly inhale grow the crown grow the spine send the tailbone towards the center of the earth exhale everything to the center of the earth except for the crown grounding through the inside of the front foot exhale inhale oh switching our arms here <laughs> inhale the left arm on up shoulders melting down the back so not collapsing up into the ear exhale hook the elbow on the knee Inhale, elongate. Exhale, take the gaze over the back shoulder. Opening up the chest, spread across the chest like we did in our triangle pose in our half moon. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, deepen the twist. Inhale, fill the belly, pressing it against the thigh. Exhale to deepen each twist. Maybe taking a variation with your front arm. Whatever variation you took with the opposite side is great. A couple more breath cycles. Inhale and exhale. Noticing is one side tighter? Are you getting further into the twist? This side is definitely tighter for me. Isn't that interesting? We're not judging. We're just being aware. One last breath. Inhale and exhale to deepen. And then inhale, come all the way around to the opposite side for a counter twist. Just for a moment. Exhale here. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Come onto your hands and your knees. Maybe remove the block out of the space behind you or the blankets or the towels or the books or the pillows, whatever you're using. Draw the legs together. Really squeeze together all the way from the pinky toes through the ankles, through the calves, through the knees, the thighs, into the groin. Everything squeezing together. And then everything opens up. And then back together and back open. Really just finding an exploration here. Maybe tapping the tops of your feet. Open and close. And when you're ready, keep them wide open, as wide as you can. And sit your sits bones back into, in between the space between your legs. Maybe taking a block or those pillows with you. Grounding both of your sits bones here. Inhale, elongate the crown. Crown floats up to the sky, still tucking the chin. Exhale, send everything to the center of the earth, tailbone to the center of the earth. Inhale up, you might just be here. If you want, you can take your yogi toe up. If you want, you can lean forward with your sternum coming down. Maybe your hands walk out, whatever you need, whatever variation. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale, take you deeper into your forward fold. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. A couple more breaths, actually, kind of keep it even. Inhale and exhale here. I don't have a clock with me, so it's a little hard to follow the time. Inhale, exhale. 
On your next inhale, float your crown on up. Find yourself seated on your sits bones. Exhale, send your tailbone to the center of the earth. Inhale, take that block out. And then exhale, sit your sits bones down. Send your hands back to the earth. And then unwind your legs. Drop the knees to the right. And then drop the knees to the left. Just windshield wiper back and forth to release any tension. Back and forth. Rolling on that pelvic bowl. Remember that bowl of water that we found at the very beginning of the class? So we're rolling on the pelvic bowl here. Notice any points of tension. Any points where it's nice and easy. And then bring the, yourself to stillness at center. Reach your hands forward, draw your feet in so that your feet are hips distance apart, your toes are pointing straight forward. Maybe scoot your sits bones in a little bit, reach your hands forward, and we're going to roll slowly to our back. Find each vertebrae as you gently roll down, protecting the spine. Then take a moment on the ground, lying on your back to check in. What's it like to be lying down? How's this different from any of the standing postures? Any of the seated postures we just did? And how's it similar? Maybe getting a lot of sun as you lie down here. Maybe you're in a really sunny part of the West Coast. Not sure. Or the Western region. When you're ready, draw your feet back in, keeping them pointed straight forward about hip distance apart. So when you reach your fingers down, reach your hands down without stretching them down, you're going to be able to graze the back of your heels with your fingers. Press the feet into the ground, press your hands into the ground, press the shoulders and arms into the ground, and then inhale, tuck the tailbone like we've been the whole time, just the tailbone. Feel your tailbone and your lower back lift up off the ground. Exhale, roll it down. Send your booty out, pouring water out the front of your bowl, and feel your low back reach up off the ground. Inhale, this time we're going to tuck the tailbone, bring that low back off, keep the inhale going, roll each vertebrae all the way up for a bridge. Press the hands into the ground, shoulders into the ground, release the buttocks, still pressing the feet into the ground, sternum comes to the front of the room. Exhale here, inhale into the belly, sternum comes even further forward. Exhale, roll back down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to do two more of those, but keep that tailbone, tuck it all the way down into the center of the earth until you feel your low back come off the ground. And then inhale, roll right back up. This time, maybe you bring your hands to clasp underneath, walking your shoulders underneath. Inhale and exhale into the belly. Release that buttocks, ground the feet, ground the shoulders. Inhale, release the hands, exhale, roll on down. Keep that exhale going, send the booty out till you find that space in your low back. Maybe you want wheel and that's in your posture and your asanas. If you want, go for it now. Otherwise, inhale, tuck the tailbone, roll up. This time, grab the outside edges of the mat and try to rip the mat apart. You're going to feel your shoulder blades come under your back towards your spine. Inhale, sternum comes forward, release the buttocks. Exhale here. Inhale. And exhale, roll back down. Send the tailbone towards the center of the earth. Find that low back off the mat. Inhale, find a neutral spine. Feel your low back press evenly into the ground. And just take a moment here. Exhale. Inhale, draw your legs to your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. And then bring your right knee over your left like we did in our seated cow face or in our pigeon in that kind of adjustment spot. Right knees over the left or left over the right. Doesn't really matter here. Open the arms up, teeing across the arms. Palms are face up. Gather as much sun as you can with your eagle legs here. And then as you exhale, drop your right, drop your legs to the left side of the mat. They might get all the way to the ground, but the important thing is that your right shoulder is grounded here. Inhale. Exhale. Take the gaze to the right hand. Notice any points of tension. Each inhale fills the belly. 
Please add till tape to use into the clip. Inhale and exhale. We're just going to be here for one more breath. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale the knees up to neutral. Keep the legs crossed as they are. We're going the other way. Exhale, drop it to the right side this time. Keeping the left shoulder grounded. This might be a little bit tighter. Inhale and exhale. Maybe the gaze comes to the left side. Inhale and exhale. Notice any difference in this other direction? Notice any similarities? One more breath. Inhale and exhale. And on your inhale, float your legs back up to neutral. Unwind those legs. Give yourself a nice big hug. Maybe draw your forehead towards your knee. Exhale, release the upper back. Maybe you circle out the knees to massage your low back. Maybe switching directions. And then take the opposite eagle leg. So if you took the right leg last time, take your left leg over the right here. Find your knees stacked on top of each other. Open up those arms. Maybe draw your thighs, the inner legs together. Exhale here. Inhale. And exhale, drop them to the right side. Inhale, the gaze can come to the left hand. Exhale. Inhales into the belly. Exhales to deepen the twist. The left shoulder is on the ground. Just one more breath. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale up to neutral. Switch the... Oh, I'm sorry, keep your legs where they are. Exhale here. Inhale and then exhale to the other side. Right shoulder is grounded. Inhale. Exhale. Take the gaze to the right hand if that's in your practice. Inhale and exhale into the belly. Just a couple breaths. Feeling the practice slowing down. Noticing any difference from the left to the right side. When you're ready, one last breath. Inhale and exhale. And in your own time, inhale up to neutral. Unwind the legs. Maybe circling out the low back here. Maybe drawing your forehead towards your knees. Release the upper back. Maybe you take a happy baby reaching the hands between the legs to the outside edges of the feet. Send the heels towards the sky. Draw the knees towards the elbow. Find a flat low back, flat upper back. Imagine that the sky is going to fall onto the bottoms of your feet and you want to catch it, not on the outside edges or on the inside edges. Nice and flat feet here. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you're rocking back and forth. Maybe you're stretching one leg and bending another. Whatever you need to do to explore your happy baby here. Getting the last bit of sun. And when you're ready, release. If you want to take a shoulder stand or anything else for the rest of the practice, go for it. Otherwise, draw your knees in. Draw your third eye toward your knees. Lock everything in. And then send everything out. Opening up the legs. Opening up the arms. We're setting up for Shavasana. Make any adjustments you need to get nice and comfortable. Your ankles can splay open. Your arms can be open with your palms up, getting all the sun you can. For me, it's a little bit of a sprinkle. I'm sure there's sun in there somewhere. Take one last body scan. Send your triangular base of support out from your feet. Big toe mound, little toe mound, center of the heel. Draw energy up. Feel your kneecaps activated. They lift up and your quadriceps engage. Tuck your tailbone towards your heels. Feel your low back press to the mat. Draw the awareness up your spine, into your chest and your upper back. Spread across your chest and your upper back. Shoulders melting down. Take the awareness up through the head into the crown. Chin slightly tucked, crown lifting away. Take a moment here with this lying down Tadasana. Gather all the sun you can. 
And when you're ready, release all control. Feel your physical body turning off as you melt finally into Shavasana. We'll be here for a few minutes. Noticing anything that comes without judging or trying to change. Just be aware. You're welcome to stay in the Shavasana as long as you like, finishing your practice here. But to keep this short, I have no idea what time it is now, and to avoid the sprinkles that are starting to get a little bit heavier, I'm going to begin to finish the practice by drawing my awareness back into my body, wiggling my fingers and toes, wrists and the ankles, maybe moving the arms and the legs. Maybe moving your torso, and when you're ready, reach the feet away from you, reach the arms up overhead away from you, one last full body stretch, maybe add a yawn in there if you want, wake it up, and then exhale, dry everything in, give yourself a little hug, rolling over to your preferred side, your head can come to rest on the bicep, stay in the fetal position for just a moment. And then press your top hand into the center of the earth. Allow the energy to fill it back up and bounce you up to a seated position. Allowing your head to come up last. Maybe taking a block with you to get nice and comfortable in your seat. Once you get there, your eyes can be open or shut. Whatever you prefer. Exhale here. Inhale, draw your hands to heart center. Thank yourself for coming to practice, taking the time to find the mat and yoga today. Thanking those of us with us, or maybe in your space, for allowing you to have this time. And then draw your thumbs to your third eye, bow forward to seal in the effects of the practice. Take as much time as you need here. When you're ready to take yoga with you, off the mat, into your everyday world. And inhale, float your crown back up. Exhale, hands to the knees, palms up for more energy, down for more grounding. And in your own time, if your eyes are closed, blink them open, coming back to the space around you. Thank you all so much for coming to practice today. My name is Mitch Kaufman, the program manager at Fountain Valley. Um, I will be with you again Wednesday at 6 p.m. I look forward to seeing you there. Please leave any comments, anything you want to see at that next class, um, or any funny notes about how much sun you got today. Whatever it is, I'd love to talk to you and get to know you more. 
See you all soon.